Hey everyone, I want to do a quick video this morning on uh, prepping the Yuko Micro Candle Lantern. I bought a few of these to take uh, hunting with me and to put one in my pack permanently as a survival light source. They're very small, very lightweight. They're three and a half inches high, collapsible down to two and a half inches. And the total weight on one including uh, two tea light candles, one stores in the bottom and one as the main uh, light source is only 3.9 ounces. So they're pretty amazing little devices. But I noticed when I got my first one and took it out of the packaging, there was a problem. And mainly was it didn't want to open and close very easily at all. In fact, it was really, really difficult and there are these little metal tabs located at three places around the top of the lantern that secure the um, burn cover. And they're very sharp. They're almost razor sharp. Were you to get your fingers on there, like I almost did when you're tugging and pulling a new lantern to try to uh, put it into position to burn, I almost cut my uh, fingers. So very easy solution to that is to get some lubricant on there. I used uh, rig universal gun grease. I wouldn't use oil, I would use a grease. And I used, uh, you know, just a long stick Q-tip. And I greased the three posts right around here. And now it just opens and closes very smoothly, very rapidly. But like I said, this one when I got out of the packaging, I had to literally fight it. And when it went up, it kind of went cockeyed at an angle and got jammed and it was a mess and I thought, wow, I've, I've been ripped off. These things are junk, but they're not junk. <laughs> I just needed to um, do a little prepping on them. So that's what I recommend. Um, I haven't used one in the field yet. I've uh, lit this one a couple times at night, taking it outside. And it's a pretty good little light source. You can see it from a long ways and if you were under a uh, shelter for the night or in a small tent, it would be um, adequate. And if it was really, really, really cold and you had some something around you to break the wind and huddle beneath, you could probably at least keep your hands warm, you know, putting them over the uh, so, uh, heat source, the light source. And uh, like I said, uh, that's the main candle there. The second one is underneath there. So, pretty ingenious, actually. They say each, each candle will burn about four hours. So, for less than four ounces, and as long as I have a, a way to light the thing, you know, either a match or a lighter or a flint striker, I'll always have this emergency source of, of lighting with me, and it takes up virtually you know, hardly any space at all and really no weight. Another cool thing I got with my Yukos, because I bought more than one, bought a few of them, was the uh, neoprene cocoon. And I paid eight dollars for these. I got a couple of these. I haven't tried one out yet, so we'll try one out this morning. And the idea behind these, of course, is to have a cocoon carrier for your um, Yuko Micro Lantern. So I assume we put it down. And I'm thinking the hanging chain and handle should probably go underneath. Let's see if it'll fit in the cocoon. It's kind of a form fit. It's, oh, it's nice and tight. Nice and spongy, though. And right over. And there you go. It fits perfectly. They do caution you to make sure your Yuko candle is completely cold before you put it in one of these or you're going to melt it. But that seems to give it lots of protection. It's very very bouncy and very spongy. There's no zippers or anything 
to mess with. You can just uh, you know pop it open, and there you go. So I imagine that adds about I don't know, not even maybe third of an ounce, quarter of an ounce. So you really have an important survival source with you for just that much space and very, very little weight. So highly recommended. Uh, but like I said, when you get one, I wouldn't even, you know, once, once you take it out of the packaging and you raise it, extend it to its uh, burning position, I would get out some, some lube. And I, again, I would use some sort of a, a grease, not, not an oil. You want something that's going to stay on there. So you should try these out. Um, I think they'd be well worth your while to add them to your uh, pack or even just to have in your car or your home. You know, we've had power outages here when we went to fire up the um, battery operated lanterns and guess what? <laughs> dead or nearly dead batteries, but two little tea lights and I, I bought a whole bag of these for like, oh, I don't know, four, four ninety nine, three ninety nine. 99 I think I got like a hundred of them. So that's going to last quite a while. Anyhow, that's my tip for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and uh, check out some of my other videos. Subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later. I got to get some stuff ready and uh, for turkey hunting tomorrow morning. And maybe I'll see some of you out there. Uh, enjoy the wildlife. I know I do. Bye.